Uh, Pope Francis is praying for peace amid rising tensions between Ukraine and Russia. Over the weekend, Ukrainian and Russian forces appear to be gearing up for attacks. The United States and NATO are describing it as the largest buildup of Russian troops along the Ukrainian-Russian border since 2014. Joining us now with more is EWTN News Rome correspondent Colin Flynn. Colin, great to see you. So tell us, what is the situation along the Ukrainian Russian border like? Good evening, Tracy. Well, Germany and France have called on Russia to pull back on their growing military forces along Ukraine's border. And this was all triggered by violations of a ceasefire agreement between Ukraine government forces and pro Russian separatists. According to a local Ukrainian newspaper, there have been 29 ceasefires since the start of the conflict in 2014, each intended to remain enforced, but none of them stopped the violence. Today, the European Union foreign leaders, they met to strategize on how to approach Russia. Although they say they are not able to apply immediate sanctions, they said that they hope to add some pressure. And according to British newspaper The Times, the British warships are preparing to set sail next month for the Black Sea that surrounds the southern coast of the Crimea Peninsula to show solidarity with Ukraine's NATO allies. And Colin, what was the Holy Father's message to the people of Ukraine and Russia? Well, Tracy, Pope Francis says that he has been following the grave situation and appealed for the end of the violence. He hopes that gestures can be made to promote mutual trust and foster reconciliation. He says peace is truly needed for the people living there and the people who have suffered greatly from the violence, whether it be losing loved ones or losing their homes. He asked all the faithful who were gathered in St. Peter's Square to pray a Hail Mary with him for peace in the country. And, Colm, do we know, uh, has the church in Ukraine uh, responded at all? Yes, they have, Tracy. Church leaders in Ukraine have called on the international community to get involved and help resolve the conflict. For example, the Archbishop of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church, Archbishop Shivato Shivetchuk, he told EWTN News that the Ukrainian people, they live in perpetual psychological fear due to the war and the threat of invasion by Russian troops. He also explained that investing in war is taking humanitarian resources away, like access to the COVID-19 vaccine. He he said, we as a church pray for peace in Ukraine and around the world. Since the war in Ukraine began, our churches have never stopped praying for peace. Tracy? Yeah, we are praying as well. Thank you so much, Colin. Colin Flynn, EWTN Newsroom correspondent. Thank you, Tracy.